hi dear children uh, today in this video i would like to tell you about how to take cct6 in diksha portal first you have to visit play store and then you will write diksha app then you will see the icon this is the icon okay you have to download it actually uh, i have already downloaded and install uh, first you download and install it and when you open it then you have to select your language like i just select i just select english then continue yes now uh, there are three options for teacher students and other so if you are teacher then you have to select on this and if you are student then you have to select on this okay now uh, this video is for student as well as for teacher also so being a student you just click on this student then there option scan qr code scan qr code don't have a qr code okay uh, this scan qr code uh, this get instant access to digital content by scanning a qr code from your textbook suppose uh, you have a textbook of science and in that textbook there is a qr code then you will you can scan this code this is not for your test this is for content okay uh, for cct6 no need to scan this qr code so you just click on don't have a qr code this means you have to select the board now uh, we are i am selecting cbsc board okay and then we have to submit cbsc board i selected and then we have to select the medium like uh, i select english submit uh, we have to select class also like uh, i select 7th class if you are in 8th standard or 9th standard accordingly you can select and submit okay then continue yes now this page is coming if already you have registered then this page is come okay and now you will uh, go in search in search in search bar you have to type creative and critical thinking if you type cct if you type cct then this page is coming so don't type here cct you will have to type it creative and critical thinking creative and critical thinking either you can type it in capital or small letter then you search now you just show the four result first is creative and critical thinking practice jnv jnv means it is for jawahar navodaya vidyalaya 
जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय ओके एंड क्रिएटिव एंड क्रिटिकल प्रैक्टिस इज सेकेंड सी एच सी एच मीन्स चंडीगढ़ एंड द थर्ड वन इज क्रिएटिव एंड क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग प्रैक्टिस के वी मीन्स केंद्रीय विद्यालय मीन्स वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट द थर्ड वन ओके नाउ यू सिलेक्ट द थर्ड वन द पेज डाउनलोडिंग ओके नाउ you have to click on this play play button this button after clicking on it i think you you, you uh, then you will get slides you have to wait until it's open completely you have to wait now you will get slides okay now you have to click on this arrow sign okay click on it sorry uh, yes click on it this is first slide and this is about cct practice the creative and critical practice exercise aims to ensure that student engages with interesting higher order competency questions and develop the skills of problem solving and critical thinking okay uh, this is the first slide you already know you have known this then we by clicking the arrow sign this you can go to the next slide okay uh, now uh, there are some term and condition there are some terms and condition the first is participant must be st student of class classes 7th to 10th means 7th 8th 9th and 10th okay second one is a student can participate in the cct practice without filling any personal information means uh, they don't want any personal information for example you no need to write your name no need to uh, uh, give your personal information only class and udc school code is mandatory udc code uh you will get it uh by your respected class teachers if you are a student ensure that you have the consent of your parent guardian to participate in the cct practice okay means aapke parents ka sahmati hona zaruri hai and it is better that if you you are uh, if you take this test your parent should be there as a parent or guardian of a student you are requested to provide basic minimum information about your child and by providing if you if you it you consent to the information being used in the manner described on the next slide in the next slide what is okay this this icon is for previous slide and this is for next slide we have to click on this now uh, purpose of collecting participant information basic participant information is being collected from the participants of the cct practice in order to provide learning enhancement and for systematic reform purposes who has access to the information only cbsc now we go to the next slide
yeah this is the basic information okay no need to write your name your father name okay uh, so don't worry about this personal gender you have to write here personal gender sorry participant gen gender and participant class if you are a student of 7th class then you will write 7th if you are a class, student of 8th class you will write 8th like this UDC school code if you are a student of uh, uh, KV school or if, uh, then you can get this UDC code from your respected class teacher or it should be sent by respected class teachers okay uh, the next one just I feel uh, suppose a participant gender I write here male participant class suppose I write here 7th class and UDC code suppose it is 1, 2, 3, 4 ok participant school name you will write KV number 2 ok medium of instruction English ok the sign button no? like uh, this star button this this is compulsory mandatory you have to fill these ok no uh, ok for example like if you if you are not filling this column then it will be ok but better that you should fill then we are going to next slide yes instruction to the candidates you have a total 90 minutes to complete the quiz means one and half hour and there are seven units with total of 30 questions the information regarding each unit will be displayed displayed first and after reading the same you will be able to see the questions on the subsequent pages read the questions carefully and choose the most appropriate option each question is of one mark and there will be no negative marking okay it means you have to give answer of 100 percent means if there are 30 questions then you will answer the 30 questions because there is no negative marking okay then go to the next slide this is very important okay now this is very important thing to discuss with Okay, uh, students, there are uh, like uh, just wait, wait. Yes, uh, there is an arrow sign. This is okay. This means click on this. If you click on this icon, means uh, when the question appears, then if you click on this icon, then click on this button to go to the previous question ok or previous slide this arrow sign and this arrow sign uh, for the next question if you click on this then you will go to the next question ok these two things are clear and uh, now click on this button to deselect the marked answer suppose you there are four option a b c d and you marked on a option and you want to deselect the marked answer so you just click on this icon okay now uh, two or three uh, wait okay again i am telling this is for the next question and this is for previous question and this is for deselect the marked answer and here this this sign this this is the sign okay like V this is the sign uh, if you click on this sign now then you will see the full question means click here to expand the question because uh, some questions are very long so uh, when you open the co uh, question when you see the question then you, you can't see the full question 
okay means two or three lines uh, only you can see but if you click on this icon then you will see or you can expand the question okay now here uh, like this is this symbol this type of symbol this is the okay uh, click here to enlarge the image okay you just uh, sometime you see the this symbol or this sometime you don't see why because if the questions uh, is a salt then you you can't you will not no need uh, for this icon this is for some questions uh, these symbols are appearing okay if you click on this then you can enlarge the image you don't worry students uh, in the next type next slide uh, uh, there are some questions and I just ex I will explain and I will uh, demonstrate also okay and don't click this button because this is for menu icon okay menu icon means uh, you don't click on this okay now we are going to next slide the quiz will begin when you click next means you have to click on this okay uh, now I click okay suppose this is the uh, unit first there are seven units and total 30 questions are there this is unit first you have to click on this button okay like this why it is a pen drive and here there are no icons because screen is full means full image you can see okay you read this and then you click on the next button like this so there is a question but you can't see the full question only two or three lines you are seeing here and there is a symbol like this is this symbol these symbols we are talking about okay don't click on this symbol don't click okay well, if you click on this one this is for uh, enlarging the image like if i click on this this icon positive then the, the image will be expanded okay now okay again you click on this screen don't press the back button okay don't press the back button click on this screen okay if you click suppose like this, if you click on this button then you can see the full question like the co yes now the question is full now you just click on this screen you just click on here don't uh, press the back button okay click on the screen okay okay now you go to the next question like this uh, question is incomplete then you will press this this icon you can see the image so you can expand the question and if you click here then you will see the image okay now okay like this like this just click on okay for uh, yes you click on this screen not press the back button like this uh, suppose like this okay the next question in the same way the question questions are coming questions will come unit 2 unit 3 4 okay wait and timer is also there I know. yes timer is also there you can see the time how much time will be left okay now next 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 unit third means we are we have to go to the last unit now I am going to tell you how to submit wait unit 6 uh, this is means third last uh, question is 30 questions means we are going to 30 questions 24 25 okay uh, 25 7 unit 26th question 27 28 28 29 and 30 this is the last question okay after completing all the questions like that you just completed and
creative and critical thinking like score is there you can see your scale score also okay now you you will have to take this screenshot of this and you will have to send it to your class teacher so that your respected class teacher uh, keep your record who is giving who is taking test or not okay this screenshot uh, uh, this picture, you just take a screenshot and send it to the class teacher you can save it also okay but i request you or i am requesting you students that uh, don't forget to send the pic or screenshot of first page where you fill our school udc code don't send the screenshot of the first page okay you have